snatching that gold from Japan, Rinka Watanabe. In second place of the United States of America, Star Andrews. And with the bronze, Young Yu of South Korea. So heading into the free program, it was looking muy delicioso for the Canadians with Madeline Skiza sitting in first place and Gabrielle Daleman sitting in second. But the young Japanese Rinka Watanabe said, I think you need anchovies on that slice. The 20-year-old from Japan has never competed on the Grand Prix circuit. Like, never. Not junior, not senior. Ranked sixth nationally, 10th at Junior Worlds last year, and sixth after the short program here. She was virtually unknown. I literally met her yesterday for the first time during an interview, and her goal was just to skate well. How did she do it? Well, she opens up her free skate with a huge triple axle. And other jumps like that, like her triple lead step double axe on the second half of her program, garnered her huge points. Plus her beautiful, light ease, but powerful skating to the backdrop of a program and honoring her Japanese heritage gave her huge points in PCs. Combine that with the technical, it was enough to send her sprinting right past the competition. After the near flawless skate, she was moved to tears on and off the ice. We could see the crowd was right with her. This is her first ever Grand Prix. She comes away with the gold. This is her third senior event internationally. All of them have also been golden for her. She will see her teammate, uh, Kaori Sakamoto, at NHK. And will she be able to secure another medal? And will we see her at the Grand Prix final? Only a few weeks will tell. In second place, we have Star Andrews of the United States of America, winning her first ever Grand Prix medal here. She has come a long way from whipping her hair with Willow. She is now a young woman, refined and elegant as ever. She's been on the Grand Prix circuit for quite some time, but has always struggled with consistency. But today, she said, not today, Satan, delivering an impassioned free program to Laura Fabian's Je Suis Malada she was able to garner a 126, a personal best, to send her from fifth place to second. Black girl magic, for real. All right, so you're probably wondering, where are them Canadian girls at? I mentioned it off the top, let's get into it. So Gabrielle Daleman, world silver medalist, Olympic gold medalist in the team event, has struggled since all of those successes to climb back to Grand Prix success. We saw some brilliance from her in that short program. Diamonds by Rihanna, she was absolutely scintillating. Free program though was not as amazing. Starts off with that gorgeous triple toe, triple toe. The money is long. Hangs on to the subsequent triple lets, then goes down hard on her triple flip. More mistakes continue to happen, but she kept fighting through. And although we did not get to see Gabby's brilliance in the free program like we did in the short, it is good to see that she's building her confidence. And in an interview I did with her yesterday, she talked about how she has to constantly remind herself that she is one of the best in Canada. And that's what she's using to keep her going throughout this season. Madeline Skeezes has been the star of Canadian women's figure skating for the last two or so years. She comes out into that short program looking fire, intensity and hunger in her eyes. Sits pretty in first as she heads into that free program. She starts off this West Side Story free program super duper strong. Triple lutz, triple toe on deck. Double axle, triple toe, bam. Triple flip, didn't get up. Happens again on the loop. She makes too many mistakes to keep her in any kind of metal contention. She ends up finishing seventh overall. She will definitely have to go back home, refocus, because she has another Grand Prix coming. And we look forward to seeing what she does there. That figure skating show back here at Skate Canada International with Caitlin Osman, world champion, Olympic medalist, many, many times over. Um, thank you for joining us, Caitlin. 
Thank you for that intro. Yeah, of course, of <laughs> course. Would I do it any less? <laughs> After the short program, we had Gabrielle Daleman sitting in second place. The first time we've seen her in a while in medal contention at a Grand Prix. You've been on the world podium with her. You've gone to Olympics with her, won Olympic medal with her. How special of a moment was it last night for her to do, go out and do what she did in that short program? We did a lot of things together is what you're getting at. Um, <laughs> Gabrielle has always been such an amazing competitor and competing against her, I was scared every single time I had to go out on that ice with her. She was so strong, so fiery. Mm -hmm. And I saw that yesterday in her short program, that confidence in herself and her ability to just skate for herself. Mm -hmm and to be able to deliver a clean program, land on, to, on the podium again in the short program, it just, it looked like herself again, and that confidence, and that's what she had so well. I, I completely agree, uh, especially with the backdrop of diamonds to Rihanna, she looked absolutely scintillating out there. Madeline Skeezus and Gabby, one and two, heading into the free program. They couldn't quite capture the magic of yesterday. So can you talk about how difficult it is to take the momentum of hitting first and second place in the short program and carrying that into your free? Well, when you're first and second, you're the hunted instead of the hunter. And in that case, you have to go out and do your job because you don't know what everybody else is doing. And everybody else had a really great skate today. So going in as first and second, you want to keep the confidence and that momentum that you got in the short program and the energy from the crowd because they're excited to see you do well since you're already first and second. Um, you have to keep that, but also keep the focus. With Gabrielle, I feel like she overpowered. That confidence went into a bit grander scheme and it became really hard for her to control those jumps. And for Madeline, I don't think she's ever been in that position where she was in first, she was the one chased after. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been to that many competitions, so this is still new to her, still fresh, and sometimes it just really doesn't work. <laughs> Top day at the office for Canadians Gabrielle Delman and Madeline Skeezes, finishing 10th and 7th respectively. Um, but they still have another Grand Prix, especially Maddie, so we will see her again on the circuit, and hopefully she can do better there. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you. I know you love that video, so subscribe so you don't miss any more, and you're sitting here anyways. Watch some more.